Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I'm going to show you what I like to call the parallel ball problem. What is the parallel ball problem? Well, it is a run killer. It's one of those things that intermediate players think they are out and they're not. He thinks he's out because the five is wide open, the six is very makeable, the four is, is wide open, the eight is very makeable, it's got some traffic, but they think they're out. And then what do they do? They shoot this five ball first because it's a layup. They never get on the six, they never get on the four, and if they do, they don't get from the four to the six. Why? Because when balls are parallel like this, when they're parallel to each other, advanced players all know you're gonna come off of multiple rails, you're gonna shoot a draw shot, you're gonna stun over, you're gonna get on the six ball, but it is not a layup, guys. When you see these balls parallel to each other, expect that you're going to have to do something good. So in this particular situation, what I would do is I would stun this with a draw shot, come off the rail and get on the six. A lot of you identify the solution, right? But you have to be able to pull it off. So I'm gonna play this with low. I'm not gonna put any draw, I mean, I'm sorry, any left or right on this. I'm just gonna come out. So I got nice position on the six, but I want you to just recognize how difficult that is to get this position on this six ball. If I get over here, now I have to go over and back to get on this five ball. That shot is not a layup. Yes, you can make the four all day, but can you make the, get this position on the six? So the drills that I show you at the end are going to help you get these types of positions, but you have to practice them. It is very important that you practice these. So now, Again, some people want to play this five, it's practically in the pocket, and then you're going to go all the way up there for the six and then have to get on this eight. Bad idea. We're going to play this six. We're going to bounce off the rail just a little bit to see if we can straighten up for the five ball. That's a little bit of bounce. And I think that if we stun this five, we will still be on the eight. But I want you to identify just how easy that looked, but how difficult it was to pull off. Practice the drills at the end of this video. Practice the drills at the end of this video if you want to get good at this, because if you see this, the situation early in the rack, you've got to get rid of it. If you don't manage to get rid of it, you've got to be able to play it. And you can't just hope that you're going to get from that four to the six and the six to the five. So let's take a look at a couple drills that are going to help you learn these shots, master these shots, and make them actually some of your favorite shots. The first, I like to call the line drill east to west. We've got the balls, 10 balls, 11 balls, across the table horizontally. And the first five shots, I want you to notice, if you had this situation in the example that we gave, you would get from that four to the six or the six to the four pretty easily by cutting the ball in and using the rail the way I am on these shots. So the first five shots that you saw would all put you on that run out that we looked at. This shot, I'm just gonna come off the rail to get shape on the rest of the balls. But after that shot, we're simply gonna shoot a series of short draw shots. When these balls are parallel to each other, very often a short little draw shot like this will allow you to control the situation. Sometimes you don't have to come off the rail. Sometimes you don't have a choice about it. But if you get yourself in this predicament where the balls are parallel to each other, the best solution is often this short little draw shot. Far too many players do not have this shot in their game. I know guys that can draw the ball eight feet down table and can't draw it 12 or 14 inches to get shape on each of those five balls the way we looked at. So not only do you want to work on that, but spread the balls out, move them to different locations on the table, still parallel to each other. You don't have to shoot them in sequence like I did in the first example. You can just work your way around, get shape from one ball to the other. If you decide you want to go off of multiple rails to get shape on the shot, just allow yourself to shoot them in the same pockets at the same end of the table because that's our dilemma. If we have an opportunity to shoot in the opposite direction or in the side pocket, it's really not an exercise at all. So force yourself to shoot these, shoot them correctly, and practice this 
and it will take you a long way. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, are we on the air?